Hey, what is up heroes, and welcome back to more Pokemon Alabaster version. Last episode, we graduated from the Academy, and we've made our way to uh, Taikan City, where we're going to take on the first gym challenge. I've done quite a bit of training, so here is the team. I actually caught a brand new Pokemon as well. Got a uh, Flaffy, it was actually a Marie, but I trained up a little bit. So we've got Wendy, level 11. We have Corona, 21. Uh, Flaffy, 16. Which I caught at level like 10. It was so easy to train a uh, Mareep into Flaffy. It was, oh, it was so nice. And we got Wiser level 13 and Paddy 14. So before we get started, we're going to uh, explore this town. Also, the creator of this fan game actually messaged me, got in touch, saying um, he's fixing some problems with the game. Like the level curve was definitely an issue. And I've installed the latest patch, like he uh, said, and that should fix um, some of the levels. So uh, it's kind of hard for him to say. But really, let's uh, go explore this town. I wonder what this uh, little shop is here, like a card shop. What is this? Hi, do you sell Pokemon cards? Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Oh, Triad card shop, okay, um, triple Triad, come to the right place. We give anyone who is looking to begin for the first time a starter pack, free of charge, ooh. Okay, got a starter pack, there are 10 random cards in the starter pack. You need 5 to play a game of uh, triple Triad, so keep that in mind, okay. Maybe you'll battle me? This sounds interesting. Oh, maybe not. Can I talk to you again? You can buy cards, okay. Some pretty good cards. I don't want to spend all my money just yet. I want to how to learn how to play the game. Then we'll uh, buy some cards. Kind of reminds me of um, like Final Fantasy IX adding the uh, little uh, card game into the game, which is pretty cool. So that's uh, Taikan City Bridge. Let's go explore these houses, see if we can get some free Pokemon. Ooh, hi. Hey there. Have you uh, come to challenge the Taikan City Triple Triad Club? Uh, sure. You have no idea why you're here, do you? Nope. That's okay, I'll explain all you need to know. Card game which is played on a 3x3 grid. Start each player picks 5 cards from their own deck. The person who starts first is sided at random via coin flip or something like that, I guess. Okie dokie, take turns until the board is filled and each card has a Pokemon on it. There have 4 numbers that uh, correlate to the Pokemon's strengths. Ooh! I think I might, might play something like this before. So. Let's uh, get right into it. Just push me out of the way. Hmm. Oh, good. It looks like you already have some cards. Alright, let's play. Talk to anyone and we can give them a battle. Okay. Yeah, it really reminds me of the, um, the Final Fantasy card game. So, let's start off. Ooh. Let's go Togepi. Oh, I gotta choose my five cards first, don't I? Okay, um. Beldum. My Vesta. Gotta get you. Swapo's got five. There you go. Get these five. Okay, he's making a move. So, we wanna beat that. Ah, that's the best way to beat that. Quite solid if I put a Clefairy down right here. Okay, okay, that's that's easy to beat. So we can go to four down. I can't beat a four down. I said beat it from the top. So if I go Swablu here. Okay, okay, that's fine. We can just go. Oh, this is not good actually. Actually, no, we're fine. I just need to take a pee here. Okay, and I can easily beat that. Them two. So, as if we can beat that, so I can definitely take them. Ha! I win! Sweet. Oh man. That's pretty fun. I do want to play against you. Okay. Gotta get Beldum. My vest is good. Togepi is good. Got that Yam Mask, which is a sticks across, but. I need Swablu. Yeah. These five are definitely the best five for me to have right now. Should we play some. Oh wow, it's a seven? So I need a Clefairy or anything that can beat that. Ok, 
Okay, that's fine. So, you can get a strong. Ah, uh, that'll tie it. And I'd definitely lose Togepi to whatever he puts on the top left, which he would put something there. I, got, I haven't really got anything with a strong top, so I don't really want to go there right yet. So, I think I want to take it from the side. If I take it from the side, he'll take that from the top left, hopefully, and I can take that with Lovesta because Lovesta's got a six left. So, if I just go you here, hopefully, oh, you can, you took it there. That's fine. So I can take that. Ah. Oh. I kind of just want to. If I place one in the middle, no, if I want to, I want him to just place one in the middle, I can get top right. So, what I want to do right now, is just take that, yeah. Okay, that's perfect, that's exactly what I want you to do. So, I can't take a fairy. Ah, that's annoying. If he takes Togepi. That'd be me four, that'd be him five, wouldn't it? No, I don't should I think I can still win this. Yeah, I win. Ha! Whew! It's pretty intense. Okay, last one. Now I'm to repeat like this, uh... I think I'm gonna get... Cacne's got six left. Yeah, I get that one. Six top as well, so I'll go first. Uh, let's put Beldum here. Okay, perfect. Bam, take that. Mm hmm, that's fine. Fairy can take that. I hate going first, I really do. Um,. Put this. If I put you there, no, I don't, I don't want to do that actually. Because let's put you there, just in case. I doubt I can beat a six. Okay, then we can beat your uh, thing. Oh, that's an easy battle. That's really fun. I am really loving this fan game. Adding small stuff like that into. Like, ROM hacks and fan games is stuff I live for, man. It's so fun. Oh, man, that's awesome. Hello, hello, I'm the official name rater. Oh. Come back here a little bit later on. Because I forget to nickname a Pokemon. Got a little basketball court here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can tell there's a difference in the strength between the trainers under Pit's wings and the trainers you find on Route 301 and 302. Pit is a good mentor. Hmm. <laughs> what if it's Pit, like, from... Uh, Kid Icarus. Oh, there's the gym there. Jim's looking. Oh, wow. Jim's looking pretty nice. Hey, hey, if you plan on challenging this gym, you're gonna need this. Iron Ball. Gonna keep that if you can beat the gym leader. Okay. Uh, Pokemon held that cut to speed. It makes flying type and levitating holders such good ground type moves. So I guess he's going to be uh, a flying type. We haven't got any ground type moves, but we have a Flaffy, so I mean... Yeah, we'll take on the gym. Oh wow, that's nice. Oh, maybe it's a ground type gym. Let me tell you right now, you've got a tough road ahead of you. We need help along the way, and that's where I come in. Okay, can I like a fresh water? That'd be perfect. Okay, you uh, probably have already noticed that the entrance is designed to keep people in. We won't be able to leave until you complete the puzzle. Look up ahead. Okay, got a trap inch. That's cool. You won't be able to get around that arena trap easily. But there are some switches around uh, here that will help you out. You need to flip two of them in order to progress. The iron ball will help you out too. But I don't want to spoil too much. Okay. Ah, one more thing I should tell you. Since this is your first gym challenge, you won't be allowed to use items from your bag. Oh, what? Oh, any leader, okay. And you turn the lights off. 
Do I actually have any? Um, uh, well, that's nice. Before we go in the gym, though, we are going to actually finish exploring this town a little bit. So we can find. Hi. Of all the attacks and chaos from Team Celestial and Team Tectonic, even normally common items have been in short supply. Surprisingly hard to even get your hands on a super potion these days. Oh, that's probably why I can't buy, like, um, antidotes and stuff from the Pokemon. Ah, that makes sense. And what do you have in here? Hi, how you doing? I consider myself a collector of sorts. I don't care to share with strangers what I collect, but I can appreciate other people who are dedicated to expanding their own collections. Oh, is that a Pokedex? Fantastic! Never met anyone with a Pokedex before? Surely, then you must be a collector yourself. I'll tell you what, if you show me that's your Pokedex, you've caught 15 Pokemon, I'll give you something nice. Uh, how many have I actually caught? I've caught... 10. So, 5 more, and we can get something pretty cool from this guy, so we'll come back a little bit later on. And we have uh, 15 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Hey, what are you doing? Most of the time, no one ever bothers to empty this trash bin. When the smell gets bad enough, people complain, and then it usually gets dumped. Found leftovers. Wait. Oh, it's already gone bad. That sucks. Hi. There's a monster in the well. Not really, though. We're just playing. Oh. I say, can I try and get it? Can't go that way. Oh, I need to get to I need to get to Squall, but they have the entire road cut off. I need to get to Squall, but they have the entire road cut off. It's a waste of my time. I have places to be. I can't be stuck in a boring place like this forever. Oh, sucks to be you. It really does. Uh, what is this place? This place is... Can't read that little sign. Hi, how you doing? If you go west from here, right to the edge of town, you'll get to a river. My favorite fishing spots are east of that, past the junction and up the river. There's some good spots to the north as well. Wherever you go, you'll need a good fishing rod. But yeah, super rod. Oh, you need me a fishing rod? That'd be great. Oh, maybe not. I say I can maybe get a water type then for the, uh, the gym. Come on, handy. Oh, you came from uh, the Nejo Academy? Well, that too. Pitt and I were classmates. Pitt used to be so reckless back then, but he really has taken responsibility for, his, for this town. A couple of years ago, this was basically a ghost town, but Pitt came here and started up, started up a gym and that triple triad card shop down the road. There are lots of renovations lately, like the bridge right now. It's really amazing how much has changed once you think about it. Oh, ain't that nice. Okay. What most of them don't know is that he has one of the highest win percentages among gym leaders. Oh. Okay, it sounds like it's going to be pretty tough. And that's the town explored, so let's go and take on this gym challenge. Alright, this gym puzzle seems pretty awesome, so is that a switch there? Seems to be sleeping, okay. Or is that a switch? Aha! A Magnemite. I want to fight this trainer though. Uh, Mike Magnemite. Ooh. Pretty sure it's gonna be a ground gym, right? Um. Yeah, we'll leave off Budweiser. Don't want to be stuck down here wandering all day, do you? I'm gonna do you a favor by sending you back out early. All right, bring it on, lady. Bring it on. Got Magnemite. Okay. That's not what I was hoping for. That's fine, going to Corona to get some few embers. I'm not sure if does any damage, that's good. Ooh, that's good damage on the shock as well. I said, do not paralyze me. I would not like to be paralyzed right now. Critical hit! Couldn't get that the first time, could you? Would have made life so much more easier. Wide level 15, sweet. Nose pass. Uh, let's switch into. Budweiser, go for some Mega Drains. Tackle does a lot of damage though, that's not good. Uh, Stun Spore. Slow you down a little bit. Sweet. Uh, go for a Growth. Ouch. Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying, okay. Problem is, we can't leave this gym to heal up, so we have to kind of just try our best going through this gym and maybe. Oh, I'm gonna end up dying. 
beat a few trainers. I'm gonna try to clear the gym puzzle. Hopefully, then when I lose to a trainer or the gym leader, I can just get back there straight away. Gotta keep thunder shocking. Ah, oh, that rock blast. That nose pass is way too tough. 18 as well, which is really annoying. Oh, I live at like 1 HP, that's unfortunate. On the bright side, I can train up Wendy. And Peck should finish that thing off. There we go. It should easily make me level 2. Good. Level 2, level 12, I set. And then, <laughs> uh, let's see, where is the next switch? Oh, got that as trainer. Are you afraid of the dark? Let me to show you the power that lurks within the shadows. Okay. Sounds good. Put a Zubat level 20. Eh, we should be fine. As long as it doesn't know, like, wing attack. It's all good. Flame body, yes! It's gonna help out. Hopefully it won't be like Cassandra's uh, Clefairy, where the burn will stop burning it. <laughs> and we'll just cheat a little bit. Should've won that battle 100%. But we'll finish it off. Come on, make me level 22. Eh, yeah, close enough. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, struggle bug. Oh, I'm so dead. If I can finish that off with a uh, pat rat with a bite. Come on, Patty. Bite it. Didn't finish it off. Flinch it then. Flinch it, flinch it. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I lived! Level 2 HP, oh! Did not see that coming. Alright, and... And the Magnemite, there's the last switch. Just gonna hit two switches. Oh! It dragged me! me into it. Okay, round two, because I lost this kid. This time, though, I'm going to kick his butt. Mega Drain. Good damage, good damage. Ouch, that did a lot of damage. Critical hit, nice. Damn, I take a lot of damage from uh, anything with uh, Budweiser. Level 16, I'm Worry Seed. Uh, that makes me confused, right? Oh no, Insomnia, okay, that's what it is. Don't really want that, do we? A shuckle, ooh, shuckle, 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 let's go into Corona. Probably the best thing, to be honest. Should've paralyzed it first. Let's go for Ember. Got the burn, sweet, it's always nice. And burn slowly take it out. Bite. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm so dead. He wants to take a uh, nice bite. He's going to Jason. Oh, I can't be switched out. Oh, no. I'm so dead. Potion it is. Keep taking that burn. Woo. That uh oh. That ain't good. Almost there, almost there. One more ember. That's good by a shuckle. Ha! Alright, sweet. Well, you're pretty good. I am pretty good. Thanks, dude. Uh, there must be another switch then. Nope, that's wrong. Gonna fight that train, but I'll do that in a bit. So, do I have to hit certain. 
Ow. Put him in a certain order. Already hit that one. Oh. Okay. Aha! There you go. Thank you, Megan Light. That's what we do. Got a nice round of applause. Uh, let's quickly heal everyone up, ready for the gym. Got two potions. You the gym leader? Ah, welcome to my gym challenge. It's good to see that you've uh, made it past my little puzzle. Some new efforts were displayed on the screens overhead. And from what I could see, you were very uh, deliberate in your actions. You weren't intimidated at all. If uh, you were, you didn't let it show. However, intimidation is simply a tool I use to weed out the weak. Don't make the mistake of thinking that it is all to this challenge. Now, oh god, need a pit. Ah. I am bull guy. Need a pit, you'll need it outside. Outside? Can it wait? I'm about to battle this challenger. This team's celestial. Oh. Sorry, it looks like I have to take care of something real quick. You can hang out here. I'll be back in a minute. I don't do no waiting around, I'm coming to help. There we go. So what is going on here? What do you lot think you're doing here? You know you aren't welcome in this town. I don't see what your problem is. I'm not harming anyone, are we? Just here for educational purposes. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you this right now to save you the trouble. You'll find no one here is interested in your education. Is that kind of arrogance that will lead this region to ruin? Think of these children. What will their future be like? Don't even realize that people like you are leaving, uh, leaving Nejo down the road to ruin. How can you live with yourself? Those children will curse your name when the evil are uh, enough. You are making a scene, and I will not tolerate your presence in my city. As you can see, you won't be able to get uh, Pit to change his mind. Surely you didn't come here to have silly arguments like this? Let's not waste each other's time and any more than we ha already have. Well, you're right about one thing. We didn't come here to have an argument. We came to teach all of you. And Jimmy the Pit, and most of all, a lesson. Team Celestial has overlooked the city of Tykin up until now. The city has grown too large. It, like several other cities around the region, is beginning to upset the natural balance in this region. In order to prevent Tykin from growing any larger, we here of uh, we here at Team Celestial have decided to take control of this city. To put it simply, our job is to put Leader Pit here out of his work. You know, I was thinking that something like this was bound to happen. A bit surprised it took you guys as long as it did. Fine, that's the way it's going to be. I'll accept your challenge. Hey, instead of that, why don't you uh, let us handle it? And who might you be? Wait, you back there. You're Sylvia's nephew, right? Robin. Aye, that's right. This guy's Robin and he's going to help me uh, beat up those Team Celestial goons for you. Don't speak for me. I don't remember agreeing to fight them with you. So you're going to wimp out this time? Hell no! I just I just don't like uh, decisions being made for me is all. Robin, I heard that you refuse to use Pokemon to fight. Are you willing to now? I still won't fight for sport, but... I decide that it's worth fighting as long as it's to protect other people. Hey, don't ignore us! Who do these kids uh, think they are supposed to be? Sylvia's a gym leader, isn't she? Don't know anything about a nephew, though. That was a rhetorical question. Doesn't matter who they are. We didn't come here to waste our time playing with some sort of some snot-nosed kids. But I see no reason not to let them fight on my behalf. There might be more of uh, you hiding somewhere, so I'll save my strength. Boah, looks like you guys will have to get through us first if you want to fight Pip. Oh, hey, Voltsy. Fancy seeing you here. Just saw you out on the corner of my eye. What are you doing just standing off to the side like that? You want to help out too? Get that one over there. Uh, of course, man. I'm always up for a fight. Just hopefully I won't get my butt kicked. Team Celestial deals with cocky kids like you guys all the time. It's our duty to teach you to stay out of adult affairs. Alright, let's go, man. Let's go. Got two Pokemon. Then that level 19. Okay. Oh, it's done score. Missed. Sweet. And we got Supersonic. That's fantastic. Come on, get through the confusion, get through the confusion! Yes! Missed again. Oh, a headache! Budweiser, you'll give me a headache! Just land the stun score. We're gonna end up losing Budweiser in this battle. Okay, last turn. Last turn to go for a uh, stun score. Snap out of confusion, and we miss again! What is that? 
Damn! I'm not even gonna bother switching you out. You can just there you go. Finally land the stun spore. Could have done that first move, could you? Makes life so much more easier. But nope. Want to switch you out? Got some XP for you, but nope. That's all I want you to do. Get the stupid paralysis. Ah. Now it's gonna go for some embers. Poison powder. Ah, you're the worst, Venonat. You are the worst. Another ember. Finish that bad boy off. Sweet. And watch your last Pokemon. Hopefully something weak to fire. That'd be cool. Or oh, bug. Bowtoy. Hey. It's good for me. And we get the poison. And there's another side beam. Oh, side beam. Sorry. Uh, struggle bug. And Bowtoy is finished. Nice and easy battle. Bit of nice XP. It's all good. Well, this stinks. I like your outfit. Can't believe we just lost to some random kids like this. We'll retreat for now, but we'll be back. You can count on it. Great job, you three. They should be too ashamed to show their faces around here for at least a little while. Good to see you still know how to use your Pokemon in battle, Robin. And Voltsy, I am looking forward to our battle even more now. Put your Pokemon first and then come back to the gym. I'll be waiting. That sounds pretty good. Ah, I guess I should introduce you to each other. Robin, this person over here is Voltsy. Voltsy, this is Robin. We can get more acquainted after we watch Voltsy beat the gym leader. Go on, Robin. Nice to meet you, Voltsy. Robin, hurry up! Alright, alright. <laughs> alright, well, I'm going to end this part right here, do a little bit of healing, and I might do a little bit of training for the gym. Next episode, we'll be taking on the first gym leader. Have a great day, I'll see you next time. Peace.